Is it possible to run Tiny11 Portable, literally the same Windows 11 Pro, from your SD card? And you know, it's possible. And today, I will show you how to do this. So the thing is, I install my micro SD card into adapter and it become an SD card. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to install Tiny11 Portable on your SD card and after that you will be able to run Tiny11 literally from this SD card. It is possible, probably you may think that you just need to install this SD card into your card reader and after that you will be able to use Tiny11 Portable. No. The problem is that SD card is not detected by the BIOS, by the system, but you know, I find quite interesting and useful way to run it from your SD card. But for this, you need to have a USB hub. So fellas, as you can see in my hand, I have USB hub and we can insert USB sticks. And here we have slots to install micro SD card and SD card. My friends, I want to mention one important thing. I recommend to have at least 16 gigabyte of storage because it will be the minimum requirements to run Tiny11 stably from your USB drive or SD card. Previously, I tried to run Tiny11 from USB stick that have only 8 GB of storage. And you know, result was quite awful. So definitely you need to have SD card that at least has 16 GB of storage. So friends, we are in the Windows and first of all, we need to open our browser and download Tiny11 ISO file. And for this, we need to type next. Download Tiny11 and press enter. After that, you will see this website, Tiny11 NT Development Team, free download. You need to click on it, link will be in the video description. My friends, from this website, you can download Tiny11 ISO file. We need to scroll down a little bit. Here you may see Tiny11 by NT Dev. As you can see, it based on Windows 11 Pro 22H2 version. Here you need to find download options, ISO image. Click on it and as you can see, it has four files. If you watch my video, what is Tiny11 and how to install it on any PC, you may know that at that time was only one ISO file, 22H2 Beta 1. And then they release 22H2 Beta 2, no system requirements, 22H2 Beta 2, and 22H2 R1. This version 22H2 R1 made for ARM processor. Simply to understand, it made for mobile processor, but we need to install Beta 2. I want to mention that I don't see any differences between Beta 2, no system requirements, and Beta 2. If you take a close look, here you may see that they have the same size. In my opinion, I don't see any differences between them. We need to download 22H2 version Beta 2. It will suit us the best. Click on it and just wait until it will be downloaded on your laptop or PC. As you can see, we successfully downloaded Tiny11 Beta 2 version. So after that, we need to go to the browser. But this time, we need to type next. Rufus download and press enter. On this page, you need to find downloads. You need to click on it. In short, Rufus program will help us to create a portable Tiny11 version. I will install this version. 3.21 click on it so it downloaded on our system without any problem and now we can close this window my friends now you need to do one important step you need to install your sd card into the card reader friends i successfully insert my sd card into the laptop after that, you just need to go to the place where you downloaded Tiny11 and Rufus program. In my case, I need to click on downloads and here you may see Rufus. Now we need to open it, double clicking. 
Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no because this is the latest version. We are in the Rufus program. Don't mind if here you may see Tiny 11 because previously I installed Tiny 11 on SD card and after that I decide to make this video. Literally here you need to select your SD card. After that you need to click here on select. Now you need to select Tiny 11 Beta 2. So you need to go to the place where you downloaded Tiny 11 and click open. Now you need to find image option, click on it. And if you want to run Tiny 11 as portable application, literally portable Windows 11, you need to select Windows to go. If you pay attention here, you may see target system, UEFI. And that's mean if you have legacy, you cannot run it, but you can change this option. And then you can choose how you want to run it using legacy or UEFI. Okay, after that, if you wish, you can name your operating system. By default, you may see tiny 11. My friends, I want to mention one important thing. After you click start, all information from your SD card will be deleted. So be sure to save all your files. I will click start. My friends, as I previously said, this is the most convenient thing in Tiny 11. I recommend to check all of this option. It will not collect your data. Here you may see that it will create a local account by default. So that's mean you don't need to enter a Microsoft account. After you check all of these options, you can click OK. One more time warning you that all your information will be deleted and click OK. My friends, now you just need to wait until Tiny 11, literally Windows 11 Pro, will be installed on your SD card. And we successfully installed Tiny 11 on our SD card. So now we can close this window. We need to safely remove our SD card. So I will select my SD card. And now I can successfully remove it. Friends, I will turn off the laptop and then we will prestige to the next stage. First of all, we need to prepare our USB hub. As you can see, I need to insert my SD card here. We have a slot here. So let's gently insert SD card into USB hub. And now I need to insert USB cable into the laptop. And that's all. After you successfully connect USB hub to the laptop or computer, you need to turn on the machine and enter the BIOS. In my case, I need to press this button and then press F1 key. But you can check on the internet which key you need to press to enter the BIOS in your model. So we are in the BIOS and now we need to change boot priorities. In my case, I need to go to the startup. And if you take a close look here, you may see boot. You need to press enter. My friends, as you can see, SSD drive is on the first place, but I need to move storage device up here. And for this, I will press F6. Probably you need to press another key. All information you can find in your BIOS. Okay. So I successfully move it up and now I need to press exit and save all the changes. Exit saving changes. I want to mention one important thing. For the first time, it may take about 30 minutes or even longer. But if you wait and take your time after this process, it will boot much faster. So first time it always longer than it usually is. Hilarious. We're running Tiny 11 Portable literally from this SD card. That's just crazy. Also, I want to mention if you have USB 3.0 hub, USB 3.0 port, and also you have fast SD card, that means your system will work and boot much faster. The laptop restarts several times and that's normal for the first time. And we are in the Windows to go. Now we need to connect to the internet. And as you can see, we can get the latest updates even if we run Windows to go from USB stick and from SD card. Click accept. 
My friends, we are in Tiny 11, literally in Windows 11, and right now we can choose how to allocate the processor resources for the programs or for the background services. So I will leave it by default for the programs, but you can change this option if you wish and click OK. So a few words about Tiny 11, how to run it from your USB stick or in our case, how to run it from SD card. The thing is, you can use it as portable windows you can save files you can save programs as you can see everything works quite fast right now you may see that we have microsoft store photos setting calculator some basic applications and now i'm going to show you that i'm running tiny 11 literally from my sd card and what do we see here tiny 11 this is my sd card it has 128 gigabytes of memory also i will show you the specs of my system i want to remind you that this is unsupported laptop for people who don't know to install windows 11 your laptop must meet the minimum windows 11 system requirements as you can see my laptop has intel core i3 processor it has only two cores and four threads eight gigabytes of ram 64 bit and here you may see the version of the Windows 22H2. In my opinion, everything works quite fast, smoothly. I don't see any freezes or lags. Actually, it all depends on your USB stick, on your SD card. No updates available. Let's check for updates. Will it find some update for us? And voila, as you can see, you can get the latest Windows updates. I want to show you one useful tip. If you want to install browser, because by default you will not have any browser here, you can just go to the Microsoft Store, open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Then you can click here and search for application or a browser which you want to install. In my case, I will just type browser and press enter and then you may choose which browser you want to install microsoft edge browser brave browser opera browser you cannot find google chrome browser actually on my channel i have video where i'm showing you in detail what you need to do after you installed tiny 11 so definitely i recommend to watch this video so friends as you can see everything is very simple you just need to click on the application and then you will be able to install it on your laptop or computer but before installing some applications from the microsoft store i recommend to install the latest updates okay i will close this window as you can see it works so you can run tiny 11 portable from your sd card but for this you need to have a usb hub also i want to mention the last thing if you pay attention we don't use microsoft account because previously in the rufus program we check option to bypass it and right now we use a local account so guys if this video was useful for you please like it and if you want to know more about tiny 11 i recommend to click here on this video